What's up, everybody? My name is Tim Russwick, and today we're talking about how to estimate sales of Steam games uh, with their actual review numbers. Uh, this is kind of a shady practice. It's not 100% accurate. It's not perfect, but it gives you a ballpark figure of what you're looking at in terms of sales for any given uh, person. So with Steam Spy switch shifting, by the way, quick update on Steam Spy. They said they're not shutting down but they are changing their figures to more estimates. And since they're not based on uh, super accurate data, I think they're becoming even more inaccurate, which kind of uh, leads us to try and find other ways to, to estimate data and try and figure things out. So I came across a fantastic Game of Sutra article uh, by Jake Perk. Burkett, which is an awesome, he's got a GDC talk, it's great, uh, it's called 11, Surviving 11 Years Without a Hit uh, in the Industry, uh, it's a great talk, I recommend you check it out, but he posted a fantastic article uh, with his own data where he talks about essentially how to estimate reviews uh, or how to estimate sales with reviews, and straight up, he gives you a data set, 88 or 82 to 77 X. So basically the average number from his data set is 82 times the review number. So if you had 10 reviews, uh, it's likely you sold 820 copies uh, and so on and so forth. These are general numbers. These are not 100% accurate numbers. Uh, this doesn't take into account a lot of different things, but these are just his numbers. And I thought that was really interesting and really cool. Uh, and I want to kind of go into that in a bit, but there are a couple other things to note. He says the range is between 30 and 150x. So while this is the median, uh, the range really, really varies. So you got to keep that in mind. Uh, there also is uh, review scores do not seem to matter. Um there's no correlation is what he says. Um, launch date does seem to matter because people tend to get uh, more reviews early in their launch, which I found was really interesting. Um, genre does matter as well. He says he's pretty sure it does. Uh, and there are a couple um, units. I'm not going to go through this whole article. I recommend you check the article out. But basically, I was really, really intrigued and I... I Super shout out to Jake. Thank you so much for putting this article together uh, because it kind of combines data sets of, of known games. He's he's released a lot of games. He's published a lot of games, but he also has a lot of friends in the industry, uh, which is really cool if you're going to share this stuff. And it helps us indies out trying to figure out how, how do we navigate? Okay, this game sold how many units? How do we figure that out? I have a game similar to that. How do I figure stuff out? Sometimes you need to know the data, right? Like sometimes you, if you're making a certain kind of, kind of game, as someone that came from a marketing company, like it's super, super valuable to know what other people uh, are selling similar in similar genres and similar launch windows. Um, it just kind of helps with that research and you can kind of work back from that. And in addition, if you have any kind of investors or any kind of people where you have to actually estimate your sales, you want realistic numbers to work from. You don't want to say, oh, well, Thomas was alone, sold 800,000 units and my game has cubes too. That means it's going to sell 600,000. That's not how, that's just a bunch of bullshit. So at least even though we don't have Steam Spy, even though we don't have accurate data, at least we can halfway estimate it. And I recommend you go, kind of go through this article to kind of, uh, check that out. But um, that's what I wanted to share today. I, I don't really have anything to add to this because I don't have any data um, of my own at this point. I would love to get some people together to uh, pool their data and come up with uh, figures like this or estimates where we can kind of as a community uh, help each other out. But uh, that's all I got for you today. Just a real quick video and update on that. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, but my name is Tim Oswick and I'll see you again tomorrow.